Hi everyone. Today we will speak about what is important to know before you select the right measuring system for your car body shop. Have you ever wondered what data is inside the measuring system that you are using? Where does the data come from? How accurate is the data? Let's have a closer look at this subject. There are two main topics. First is the data and the second is the device. So where does the data come from? There are two ways how the data is created. First is when a manufacturer of a measuring system receives 3D CAD drawings directly from OEM. The second one is when a company collects information to build the data. For example, using repair manuals often found online or simply they take the car which is already on the road and measure it with some measuring system. When the data is created based on 3D CAD drawings provided by OEM, then it means there is zero tolerance. That is a perfect solution. But when the data is created by collecting the information using repair manuals or by measuring the car, then of course there is some tolerance and deviation. As you can see on this diagram, there are three factors that can affect the tolerance. First are the skills of a technician that is measuring the car, which can differ from technician to technician based on his experience. Second, there is some deviation on the car itself. As we know, all the cars are a bit different even right away from the production line. Third, it is the tolerance of the device that is used for creating the data by measuring the car. When we put all of these tolerances together, we get a number of plus minus five to nine millimeters of possible tolerance. So as you can see, even before working with the measuring system in your body shop, the difference can be five to nine millimeters comparing to the data created using 3D CAD drawings where the tolerance is zero. Let's talk a little bit about the device itself. It is important to understand where the additional tolerance can come from. Imagine that the data that we just spoke about was created with a tolerance of 5 to 9 millimeters. These data are already in your measuring system and you trust it. So when you go to measure the car, you automatically add more tolerance without knowing it. On this diagram, in the first part, we see that the data can be anywhere from 0 up to 9 millimeters. In the second quarter, we have the tolerance of the device, which, as we explained before, can be anywhere from 1 to 5 millimeters. In the third quarter, we see again the skills of a technician, and it can be up to 2 millimeters. And in the fourth quarter, it is the production tolerance of the car itself, which is roughly 2 millimeters. At the end, when we sum up all these millimeters together, we will get a number of about 14 to 18 millimeters. So now you understand that if you work with the data created based on OEM 3D CAD drawings, then the tolerance is much less comparing to the data created by collecting information from different sources. So first, what you need to focus on is the reliable data before choosing the electronic measuring system. Thank you.